Hello, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends, and I'm going to be giving you a report of my day and what's happening with my health now that I've been through these appointments. And then we'll do a little something with the craft. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry, just finished supper. And I am stuffed. It was Joe's Pizza. And you know how that goes. If you've ever watched it when we've eaten Joe's Pizza, oh, it's good, and it's full of good goodies, and it's filling. And you can never eat just one. <laughs> the appointments. The CT scan I had yesterday came out looking very good. There were no lumps, bumps, nodules, anything like that. Just the emphysema that we already know that I have. And the appointment this morning was equally as good. She told me about the CT results and my vitals were all good. And she listened to my lungs and said, they sounded good. That didn't bother me at all. So mainly we just discussed medications and uh, come back for the next appointment in the next six months and how happy they are that I'm doing well. Considering, I mean, ne they never said considering, but considering that I have been on oxygen since 2006, <laughs> then I feel that I am doing extremely well. I think I lost a little weight too. Although if I, caught, I got on a scale tonight, it definitely wouldn't show it. <laughs> uh, as far as what I'm going to do, I'm thinking this, I'd like to brush up um, a few things on it. Maybe make the little buds black so they'll show up. Maybe do a little bit of uh, green on one side, just a, just like a touch of it and kind of maybe mix it with some something lighter. So I kind of make it look like the moss on one side of a tree. And the bluebird, I think I might just give him some, just brush over him a little bit with some uh, darker blue just to give him some depth. And the trees, I had to lay, I had to lay this down this way. And I had to lay it like this. When I tried to cook, to put this on a cookie sheet in my toaster oven, cookie sheet wouldn't fit. So this is what fits. So I had to set it in there like this. So the branches had been spread a little more, but I'm really not unhappy with them. So... I think he looks nice there. His beak is just a little too close to, a little close to the other, but I'm not going to break him just to <laughs> and that's what it would involve to spread it. It would be because it's hardened. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some little brushing up points and put a little depth on this and I'm going to say, hey, that's a good birdie. I'm just going to use kind of a mossy green. I'm going to put it on this side. I'm imagining the bluebird will be kind of in the sun. At least that's what I'm imagining. Oh, that's more than I want. <laughs> Spread it down. right down here okay I think that's about all the mossy look I want on there <sighs> oh 
Okay. I think I'll go with the blue. All I'm doing here is I'm just putting some darker blue on the wings and on the tail feathers. And yeah, I got a little there that I didn't want, but it's not going to hurt him. I just want to get most of it off. So that they'll give a little more of a, give a little more emphasis to the, to those parts. Okay, I just wanted to mainly dab the wings and the tail and get them some distinguished, some distinction. Ah, just to bring them out. <laughs> okay. I hope you're having fun. <laughs> I get to doing and then I forget to say anything. I just blackened the bugs. I gave the bird some extra blue on her wings and tail. And I blackened the bugs. I put the moss on the tree. But I also want to get some... Some lighter brown to kind of give some more depth to the tree. Quite a bit lighter. Let's just kind of go over it. I'm not a natural artist. <laughs> my, I have known some. My daughter was one. There is one. She just doesn't do it much anymore since she had an eye injury. And it took quite a bit of the vision out of one eye. But she has kind of at our... insistence or persuasion she finally did at least try some and it turned out looking pretty darn good and then she got a little more bold and it turned out looking even better so you know, she's as long as she can keep a hand in it She doesn't see too bad as long as it's up pretty close. And 
she's she, they did a lens transplant but in order to get rid of the scarring on the cornea that causes all the problem she'd have to have a cornea transplant and it may not be any better than what it is and she's learned to live with it after this long so she just mom I don't want to I just don't want to deal with it so and I can't say as I blame her well I don't want to touch it much but that is pretty much what I'm going to do to it I just added some uh, let's see I hope you can see that I just kind of added some huh, my shakes added some green on this side and painted the bugs black and then I just kind of went over the bark with a little bit lighter brown to kind of give it a little more a little more depth a little more of a layer there and I'm not an artist but I watch artists and I kind of pick up things and try them <laughs> and I'm learning that there's certain things I can do you know it just takes a little extra patience and learning well I'm not even using the right brush <laughs> so I think I'm getting better at being artistic I don't think I'm going to do any more tonight this was just kind of mostly wanted to up you, update you on my appointments and everything good that's going on there, which is a big relief. I will see you Friday. I'll see you Friday. Please do subscribe. Click on that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up, whatever color my thumb is right now. I very seldom ever have a green thumb, but right now it looks like I do. And we'll see you Wednesday. I love you all dearly. Have a good next day or two. And if the weather is going to be nice and not rainy or too hot or too humid, I will try to get out on that scooter. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't cooperate all the time. So, love you. See you Friday.